I'm Peggy Scott Laborde with a piece of the past. We're taking a look at local history through some photos from my own collection and from local photographers and archives. William Faulkner called him the father of American literature. Mark Twain, whose actual name was Samuel Longhorn Clemens, visited New Orleans first while training to be a steamboat pilot in 1859. He was 23. He disembarked from his vessel, the SS Alex Scott, and was mesmerized by what he saw. It turned out to be March the 8th. In a letter that he wrote to his sister Pamela, he describes his experience. I saw a hundred men, women, and children in fine, fancy, splendid, ugly, coarse, ridiculous, grotesque, laughable costumes. And the truth flashed upon me. This is Mardi Gras. It was Mardi Gras. Twain goes into detail concerning the spectacle. The streets were soon full of Mardi Gras, representing giants, Indians, monks, priests, clowns, birds, beasts, everything in fact that one could imagine. The free and easy women turned out en masse, and their costumes and actions were very trying to modest eyes. He concludes his letter with... Certainly, New Orleans seldom does things by halves. Almost a quarter of a century later, in April 1882, Twain was back in New Orleans. Now well established as a popular writer, he was traveling along the river again to gather material for his memoir, Life on the Mississippi. In his recollections, it wasn't just Mardi Gras that left an impression this time. New Orleans food is as delicious as the less criminal forms of sin. I think that those of us who live here would heartily agree. And that's a piece of the past. Thanks for watching.